What's up guys, how's it going? I am doing something new. I'm actually going to just do a little unboxing, showcase type of thing on on some of the stuff that I've been picking up. Um, mostly I'm gonna be doing it with uh, these Ben Presto statues. It's a little bit different. I know normally, you know, when we go on YouTube, we're always all watching uh, toy reviews and things like that. Almost the same idea, but I'm gonna do it with these statues. I know that's it's, it's a little different, but I wanna try it out try something new, see what I could get out of it, see what you guys might get out of it. You never know. But let's try it out. Right now, we're going to do Ben Presto. And Ben Presto has a My Hero Academia, the Amazing Heroes line. Um, they actually do several other lines, like at the Age of Heroes or the Academy. But this one, we're going to start with the Amazing Heroes line because that was the line that I was mostly focused on in collecting. And this one is Volume 1. And Volume 1 is actually with uh, Izuku Midoriya, who is also known as Deku on the show. So if you know My Hero Academia, which is possibly why you may have clicked on this video, this is um, such a great anime to watch. Uh, I love all the different, you know, blend of characters. There's so many unique, unique um, abilities for a lot of these characters on the show. So um, Midoriya, is the main character of the show and for good reason but this is the box of ban presto here is the ban presto logo uh the amazing heroes volume one as you shows this is also bandai and funimation is actually um dubbing the show in english so here's the front of the box here is the side and the back and the other side as well so you can see on the back how this is an actual statue of the of the figure has his name what's his quirk which means what's his um superpower or ability which is the one for all and if you guys watch the show you may of course understand what that is so um it is taped up at the top and at the bottom but i've already cut the tape here so we're just going to open it up and show you all about it and how to um actually assemble this because these statues you need to assemble so we'll just pop this open as you can see, there is a cardboard insert, and on the, in that insert is the actual uh, figure or statue, whatever you want to call it. So right here, it is wrapped in plastic, and you will notice that it will come in pieces. So we'll put that aside, and here we go. So. As you can see, it does come with a stand. It comes with, here are the stand pieces, here is the body and the head. So some assembly required, of course. So let us, let me unwrap this and we will go from there. All right, guys, so here is the contents of what's inside the box. We have our stand pieces that come in, there's actually three pieces to it. As you can see, there are three holes for probably where they will be inserted. We have the body of Midoriya right here, as well as the head sculpt right there. Um, and of course, you will notice the pegs of where the pieces will have to fit in with each other. They some most of the time they come in, you know, a certain type of shape, in which case you will need to just take a look and see where it will go. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. There are no instructions that come inside the box. Uh, it's kind of just like, you know, you you should already know how to figure this out so here we have a stand for or a peg i should say for the unit um for the stand right here and you would just have to measure out the size to see where the items were going to fit um not like that not like that there we go so that slid in pretty easily and here we have another one which will fit just like that so there we have the stand and let's take a look at the body. So the body just comes in one giant piece. I've seen others that come in multiple pieces where, you know, it, it splits at the waist. But here we are with the body. Um, it's got a very dynamic pose in the way he's, you know, in this offensive position and where he's going to attack. Um, take a look at the detail. We have, you know, in, in his pants, the shoes. We have the laces sculpted out, actually. Um, we have his belt here. You can look at and see, you know, the stress lines on the clothing um, that's sculpted throughout the body. As you can see how he's turning. There's his gloves. 
Um, this is his mask that he has basically wearing like a hoodie because he rarely ever wears it on the show. And that's part of his mask as well. Uh, but yeah, there we go. And then, of course, we have the head sculpt, in which case that looks awesome. I love how they have it sculpted where, you know, there's the depth in his mouth. Um, the eyes are very well painted. Everything is very well painted in here. Um, we have like like three different shades inside the hair, as you can see. But everything definitely just looks great. That looks awesome. So you basically will want to find the piece and how it's going to, you know, lock into place. Basically, you know, take a look at the box. That will help you guide in how it's supposed to look. And from what I can do, yep, there you go. That fits on very easily. And that is how Midoriya looks. Looks really awesome. I love the pose. Looks really good. If there was some awesome, like, effect, like, electrical pieces, that would look even better. But I know with these Van Presto, this is, you know, uh, as basic as it can come. I mean, these things don't cost that much. These are like $25. Or if you get them on clearance or on sale uh, at like GameStop or FRE, that's actually even better. So here is a peg for the stand. And you will notice it right here on the back of the body. And you will just have to insert it there. So easily said and more than likely easily done. Just kind of slide that in. Utilize how it's supposed to look on how the box is and then you should be good to go i don't know why i'm having trouble with it but there you go locked into place so this stand piece right here i guess is help supporting him to be up in the air aside from just this piece right there but let's take a better look so there you have it guys there is midoriya right there looking awesome i love the pose it's it's a great shot of what he's you know going to do uh it looks like he's just seriously about to punch somebody so it is a great pose very dynamic love how it looks uh stan really you know just it it's not in the way actually from what i'm trying to say it it helps that this particular color of it just focuses more on the actual figure itself so um there you have it and i think it it just looks amazing it looks great so uh thank you guys for watching really appreciate you taking the time to take a look at this video and see how what it's all about i'm going to do some more i want to open up some more of my ben presto statues in this manner in this form just so you can guys you know take that trip with me enjoying and how I like to open up my stuff and, you know, hopefully pose it in the best way possible on my shelf. So I hope you guys are into the show and I hope you guys, you know, uh, may try out these Ben Presto statues because I think they're great. Uh, and they're very inexpensive for, you know, the way they look uh, and the way they're sculpted and painted. So definitely worth the price and definitely worth a shot to try them out. Uh, but there you go. There is Midoriya. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, check out my hunt videos, always hunting on, you know, all this cool stuff that's coming out, especially with Marvel Legends and, you know, with Ben Presto as well. So, uh, once again, thank you so much. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of the show. If you watch it or what you think of the, of this, um, statue. So I hope to see you guys soon of all things. I hope to see you on the next hunt.